Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at factorising determinants um, and I've got a question for us to have a look at together. Um, we want to express this determinant here as the product of four linear factors. Now just to clarify, the determinant um, is a scalar quantity. So this here, um, the reason why we can express it as a product of four linear factors is because we can take all these variables and just write it as a single um, expression and, and that expression is going to be made up as a, of the product of four linear expressions. Um, so that's what we're going to aim to do. Now um, uh, you hopefully will know by now that there's lots of um, row and column operations that you can carry out um, to a determinant that doesn't change the size of the determinant. Um, so for example, we can add and subtract rows and, and columns, etc. Um, and when we, when we carry out these operations, the size of the determinant stays the same. So we can use this to our advantage because I can, um, having a quick look at this, um, it would be possible for me to change this number here and this number here to zero by subtracting the top row from the second and the third row um, and the useful thing about that is that I will then be able to um, break this down into a 2 by 2 determinant rather than a 3 by 3 determinant so I'll show you what I mean so if we start off by writing um, our top row we're going to keep the same um, and I'm just going to um, thin out my pen a little bit so I can there we go, and we'll go back over here. Okay, right, so I'm going to start off by um, having my top row stay as it is. So I've got 1, a squared, and um, b, c. Okay, um, so that stayed the same. Now my second row, I'm going to, um, is I'm going to take off my top row from my second row. So, um, over here I'm going to have 0 and that's going to become b squared take away a squared and this is going to become um, right I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start again let's get rid of that again okay um, I just want to leave myself in the room so we've got one squared b c and um, we've got a zero b squared take away a squared and that's going to be c a take away b c and the bottom row is going to be zero and we're going to have c squared take away a squared and that's going to be a b take away b c Okay, so um, I've done the uh, middle row, I've taken the top row away from it, and the bottom row, I've taken the top row away from it. So now, if I was going to evaluate the determinant of this, I would be doing that times the determinant of that, take away that times the determinant of that, which will just be zero, because I'm times in by zero, plus that times the determinant of that, which again would be zero. So all I'm left with is one times the determinant of this here. So that means that this is going to be equal to um, this bit, this part of my determinant here. So 1 times that part of the determinant here. So I'm just going to write it as a 2 by 2. So we're going to have b squared take away a squared. Um, and then I'm just going to factorize this bit actually. And I'm going to um, write that as um, C times A take away B and similarly down here we're going to have C squared take away A squared and um, over here we're going to have um, B take away sorry B times A take away C okay so hopefully you've followed what we've done so far um, now the next trick, I guess, is to look for any um, factors that are common in any of the rows or the columns. Um, and I can see straight away here 
that the top row here um, has a common factor um, which is B take away A. I've got a B take away A over, over here and I've got an A take away B over here. So both of these are divisible by B take away A. So over here I'm now going to um, take B take away A out as a factor. To save time we'll have a look over here as well and I, I, I might be able to spot that C take away A is going to be a factor over here as well so I'm going to that there right so B squared take away A squared um, is going to be B take away A times B plus A so um, when I take B take away A out as a factor I'm going to have B plus A left over um, and over here, um, if I was to divide this by B take away A, I would get negative C. And then over here we've got C plus A, and that's going to be negative B. Brilliant. Right, so, um, what I'm now going to do is... Um, Okay, I'm going to do the, um, uh, from the second row, I'm going to take away the top row. So um, over here, I'm going to have um, B take away A, C take away A, um, and I'll leave the top row as it is, B plus A, negative C, um, and then that's going to be C plus A take away B take away A. So that's going to be C take away B. And I've got negative B take away negative C, which is also going to give me C take away B. Okay, so um, I can now see that C take away B is going to be a factor. So that's going to be equal to... Mm -hmm and then C take away B and over here I've got B plus A negative C one one excellent right so uh, I should now be able to evaluate this final part um, so if I um, just uh, extend the page a little bit so Okay, so I've got um, B take away A, C take away A, C take away B, and this last bit here, I've got B plus A times 1 take away um, the negative C. So that's just going to give me B plus A plus C, or I'll write it as A plus B plus C. C. There you go. So I've now got this in three, sorry, four um, linear factors. Um, just to highlight as well that um, if I uh, just get it all on the screen at once. Okay, just to highlight that the value of this here um, means exactly the same thing as the value of this here. Um, and in fact, you can choose values of A, B, and C to substitute into the determinant here and evaluate that determinant to get a scalar quantity. Um, and if you chose the same values of A, and B, and C and you put them in here, you would get exactly the same. Okay, thanks for watching.